climate voices and, imp and, and the impact of climate change. Now, this came up during a roundtable media conversation organized by different organizations, which includes Hivos and a journalist for human rights. It is a roundtable conversation with journalists that sought to explore how grassroots stories on climate action can be amplified in the mainstream media. This coming at a time when the country is hosting the Africa Climate Summit. Media organizations do not, most of the time, allocate funds to cover climate change, to cover uh, environment. The only time a journalist is likely to get an opportunity to go and cover anything around climate change is when there is a disaster. When there is drought in Trukana or Marsabit, which is actually as a result of climate change. Producing climate change stories is very expensive and our media organizations cannot afford to support journalists all of the time. For example, Nairobi-based journalists do not have many stories about climate change to report on. So we must travel to where these stories are. This includes, for example, flying to Turkana, which I will say is one of the, uh, the farthest areas and peop which peop with people who are affected by climate change. Journalists require on ongoing capacity building in order to continue covering climate change stories. We can be consistent in our reporting on the subject because of this consistency, if we get the support. Of the lighting instruments that are coming up, that are new technology, how do we educate them to become distributors and sellers? To the other people in their villages so that they can become economically empowered. How do we do that? We can only do that through education and information. However, there's not enough people to do that. So the key stakeholders who are partners in those areas, including the fourth estate, need to come together so that we all rally behind these issues and help our women see the opportunities that exist within the environment space that is actually offering them solutions that can help them become better in their lives. Hivos, Mama Doing Good and Journalists for Human Rights, the partners in this event argue that at the grassroots is where the agency is felt the most, making the conversation about cultivating a grassroots movement that turns every Kenyan into a committed conversationist and a catalyst for change. We in Africa are saying that we are going to act on the issues that are affecting us from a climate perspective. We should not take advantage of this resilience uh, that is displayed by our people and allow the heavy emitters of carbon uh, dioxide to get away with it without, uh, by not paying for the adoption costs. In the more village live in, in the highland. And during this uh, water, um, increase of water uh, from the lakes, they were locked in a highland. They were locked in an island. And therefore, they could not access the amenities. The, the school is the other side of the, outside the lake, the dispensary and the market. Sometimes there's an inability of journalists to understand climate change as a bit. When a journalist goes to cover uh, farming, or drought, is that climate change? Are they able to link that to the effects of the changing you know, weather patterns? Are they able to, to link that to climate change? As the sun sets on the Africa Climate Summit in Nairobi, the conversation about climate in Africa has just been amplified from the grassroots to the headlines and then to the boardrooms. The climate conversation is taking shape. Brian Amwailu, Cap TV, Nairobi. Thank you very much, Brian.